Welcome to Vast Micro, I'm Sean Hill, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change what program Windows uses to open a file. Okay, before we get started, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a self-employed IT professional of almost 30 years, and as you can imagine, over that time I've gained a lot of experience solving problems that are small and large, complex, and very trivial. So on this channel, I like to share a lot of tips to help you keep your computers running as best they can. This tip comes from interactions I have quite often on the job, and today it happened to come up again when I was asked to help a user resolve an issue opening some of their documents. This particular user found themselves staring at an old version of Corel Word Perfect after double-clicking a Microsoft Word document, and they didn't understand why that was happening and how to make it so the documents opened in Microsoft Word. Well, the solution is very simple, and I'm going to show you right now. If we take a look at my Windows desktop, you'll see that I have a single document in the middle called my document.docx. This is a Microsoft Word file I created, and we know at a glance it's a Word file because I have Windows configured to show file extensions of known file types. These are the characters after the period at the end of the file name, in this case, .docx. If you don't see these file extensions, you can watch my video on how to enable this setting in Windows, and it'll make your life much easier by allowing you to quickly identify file types. Now back to our document. If I double-click this file, it automatically opens in the Microsoft WordPad program, because at some point Windows was told to always use the WordPad program to open files with the DOCX extension. Unfortunately, WordPad doesn't have all the features we need, and I want this type of file to open in Microsoft Word instead. Lucky for us, this is an easy fix. Let's close our document and then hover over it with the mouse cursor. Then use your right button to bring up the context menu and move down to the Open With option. From here, we can choose what program we want Windows to use to try and open the document. Now, the list you see will vary depending on what you have installed on your computer, and what's previously been used to open the file type. In my case, I have Microsoft Office installed and have already used the Microsoft Word program to open files with the DOCX extension, since that association is made automatically when Word gets installed. But if that wasn't the case, I could simply click on Choose Another App and get a more comprehensive list of programs that could potentially open and edit the document. If I don't see it in this first part, I click More Apps and scroll down through. Now in my case, Word showed up at the top, so I'm going to highlight Microsoft Word and then choose Always Use This App to Open DOCX Files. This is important because it tells Windows that when you double click a file, it's always going to try to open it with that program. Once I click OK, Word opens and you'll see the document icon has changed. It now has the Microsoft Word icon integrated into the document thumbnail. So if I want, I can close the file and just double click it again and it'll always open in Microsoft Word. Now if I want to change it to another program or maybe change it back to open in WordPad, I can simply right click it again, go to open with, choose another app, click more apps, and then look for another program such as WordPad, highlight that, and click always use this app to open DOCX files. Once I do, the icon changes on the document and now it opens in WordPad. And every time I double click it, it'll open in that program. In this case, I do want DOCX files to open in Microsoft Word, so I'm going to right click it, go to Open With, I'm going to click on Choose Another App, highlight Microsoft Word, and then put a checkbox under Always Use This App to Open DOCX Files. Click OK, and I'm good to go. And this behavior will remain the same until Windows is told otherwise. And while I'm in here, I might as well use the spell correction feature in Word to correct my spelling. I hope you found this information useful and I'll see you in the next video.